Thank you very much. Your Worship, the Mayor of Port of Spain, Councillor Karen Valentine, Speaker of the House, Mrs. Bridget Anisette George and Mr. George, my cabinet colleagues and other members of parliament, members of the diplomatic corps, permanent secretary to the prime minister and head of the public service, Mr. Sandra Jones, distinguished citizens, permit me to acknowledge my wife, Sharon, and all those who today have demonstrated that Trinidad and Tobago is not a forgotten, abandoned barracoon. All the people you've seen on stage today, this evening and everything you've heard and all the talent you've seen there is us, Trinidad and Tobago. And for that, And for that, I'm particularly pleased that we are this evening celebrating, recognizing, and hopefully embarking on a journey which will continue to travel in recognizing our artists, those who play music, those who sing, those who just express themselves because they are, in fact, Trinidad and Tobago. I am not to make a speech this evening except to thank the organizers of this event, Mrs. Jones and Wendy Rock and her team and the Ministry of Community Development who assisted in putting this together because what this evening really is, hopefully it's a recognition that we are not a lost people, that we have a past, we are enduring a present, and we have a bright future. Many, many years ago, as a student traveling in Europe, I had the opportunity to visit a number of art galleries across Europe. And what struck me in many situations were that the pieces on display usually came from somewhere else. In many instances, objects of conquest from Egypt, from the Middle East, and the Far East, and from Asia. But then galleries in Europe, and we go there and look at them and marvel at them. And I wonder how the people who own those pieces feel to know that these priceless items of their history are displayed by others in distant lands. And I always felt, you know, so uneasy about that. And I felt the same thing happened to Trinidad and Tobago. When I knew a little bit about Casabon, but Casabon's story is so much a Trinidad and Tobago story, so unknown in this country that it's embarrassing. I don't know that our children in school 95% of them know anything about Casabon, far less his history, and our history tied up in what Casabon represents. And then I found myself in the cabinet of Trinidad and Tobago sometime later on, and some people were auctioning Casabon's work in London. I think that must have been about in 2004, 2005, thereabouts. And as I, enc I encouraged the then Prime Minister, and he willingly agreed to be encouraged, to have Trinidad and Tobago buy those pieces and repatriate them to this country. And we did that. And those paintings came back here, purchased by the government of Trinidad and Tobago, the Patrick Manning administration, and they were secured in the museum and put on display. Because we do know that some pieces are available in private collections around the world and somewhere in Trinidad and Tobago as well. But the state intervened and we brought back a number of pieces that were in auction. But I always felt that they were really for the public, but the public apparently are unaware of them, him and his era. 
and they have been really been presented to the people as they should. And then later on, in a very difficult period, I must admit, very difficult economic period, I came back into government, and once again, another batch of Casabon's paintings were being offered at Christie's and Bonham's for sale. And as Prime Minister, I encouraged the cabinet to purchase those items and repatriate them. That's been done. And this evening is an opportunity to present them firstly to you and hopefully to the rest of the country for the next month. Because it is my belief that a people who is uninterested in its art, in its artists, in its history, are people who are not worthy of independent status. And we are worthy. And therefore, I'm pleased this evening to welcome you here at this location for the purpose, not only of receiving the talents that we've just received, but to view the visual art, the work of Mikhail Jam, Kazibon. A while ago, I went to Italy on vacation, and our Italian host, the highlight of our trip was an evening in an old church that was no longer used for ecclesiastical purposes, but was used on this occasion for musical presentation of Vivaldi. And we went there and we, we were treated to a concert of Vivaldi's music. And I felt exhilarated this evening listening to the National Steel Philharmonic Orchestra. I feel equally exhilarated because we are no less. And our friends who took us to that place, one the, the hostess who unfortunately demised in Tobago in response to our violence, she told me a story about going to America. And her American host invited her to present America in South Carolina. Come go see some old houses from the days of slavery. And you would see America, the root of our country, and where we've come from and what we've become. And she said, you take me to see old house in Carolina? I'm from Italy. 2,000 years we've been building houses and freeing slaves. So Trinidad and Tobago, 18th century Casabon, is to be embraced in a similar way by our people. But most importantly, our children need to know the history of the era and know what the works represent. And I must tell you, as you view the works, I don't know what's on display because I have not actually seen the work since they've been framed and I'm not sure what Mr. McLean and his team put up there, so I'm anxiously waiting to go and see them. But I've, I've seen the Casabons, I know them in the books and the prints. Look at the paintings and transpose ourselves from there to where we are now. And you may find, as I have found, in those works, the possibility that if we understand them and view ourselves in the perspective of that 18th century through the 19th century to where we are now, if there is, and I suspect that in some quarters there are, some sense of hopelessness in Trinidad and Tobago, or that we don't know where we are going, or that things are so difficult now we'll never come out of it. When you look at those paintings to see where we have come from in this country, to where we are, you might be able to come to the conclusion that we've made tremendous progress from Casabon's days to where we are now, and the future is bright. We are on our way to a brighter future because we have always been on our way to a better future. There's one particular painting of, and I'm not sure it's up uh, on exhibition this evening, but there's a Casabon painting of a race day in the savannah. And it's a painting that makes me smile 
because it has the stratification of the society presented. But the people at the highest point on that day in the savannah, you look at the painting very carefully, clearly were either uninvited or they really had to get there to watch the horses because they had to climb up in the trees and look down on the long dresses and the long coats to see the races. That's what Trinidad and Tobago was. We got a long way from there, but the painting has captured that. And it tells us something. And we are now grappling with a tremendous outpouring of barbarism. Every day in the news, there's violence, there's a killing in my own constituency. In the last three days, four people have been killed with knives and guns. Just violence. And some people would want to believe that that is what we are, that that is the sum total of who we are. I say that's not. I say there's a much wider canvas of Trinidad and Tobago. And I say that what happened here this evening, what is happening here this evening, is another facet of Trinidad and Tobago, and this is the best of Trinidad and Tobago. And we must embrace it. And if we do that, and if we expose our children to this aspect of who we are, then maybe the behavior of the country as a nation might change. And that is my hope as we view these paintings this evening and as we imbibe the music that we've been entertained with. So I want to thank you all for accepting the invitation. And I trust that the evening will be well spent. Thank you very much for coming. <laughs>